everyone. Thanks for joining us here on Rising Stories Podcast. Today is our Friday Favorites episode. I don't know if you've been listening to season four, but last week we had Debo Harris, and she is part of Lean In UK in London, England, and had a wonderful conversation with her. Hope that you can swing back and listen to that. You can also listen to all these podcasts on YouTube, Spotify, Stitcher, and iTunes, and anywhere else that you can find to listen to podcasts. I'm sure that I'm there. Just look up Rising Stories. Today on the show, I'm going to talk about something that's near and dear to my heart during this time. Lent has started. It has begun Wednesday, Ash Wednesday this past week, was the beginning of Lent, the Lenten season. And it is near and dear to my heart just because I really love the emphasis on the, just the focus that people and, you know, the whole world that observes Lent can go through. And so I feel like everyone is sort of on that mindset and it's just a neat thing to think about. And so one of the things that I wanted to talk about Um, So anyway, I'm doing this whole show on Lent and some of the resources that I like to share, that I like to to use, and a couple that I want to share with you all so that you can use them. And the first one is my favorite app, which is Pray As You Go. Now, I listen to this app pretty much all year round, but they do follow the calendar of Lent, which sometimes I understand it and sometimes I don't, but they will always kind of talk about this is the Sunday of, so they do use that, use that religious calendar. And so I feel like they can really hone in on some of the great um, scripture readings. And I mean, I tell people it's kind of like having like a little bit of church every morning. So I listen to it. They have a scripture reading. So if you're a Christian and you like Um, to hear some readings and maybe some songs. It could, sometimes they, you know, they mix it up. It could be a choir. It could just be strings. It could be just, um, you know, monks chanting. It could be just all kinds of different um, types of music and uplifting, um, you know, voices. So it just depends, but I do, do love it. And of course, being that it's Lent, they are doing some great readings and I'm enjoying it. So listening every morning and just getting so fed spiritually and strengthening my faith. And really, you know, it's kind of getting me out of a funk this time around because it's been a tough last year. And if some of you know, um, this year as well, just kind of some... Um, of my favorite people not being with us this year. And so losing them, I lost my father in December and then a dear cousin here recently. So it's really been kind of a healing balm to my soul and my heart and my mind to listen to some of these scripture readings and the Pray As You Go app. So that's number one. Number two is a book called Bread and Wine, Readings for Lent and Easter. So there are different readings throughout the book. Um, They're just different people that they pull from. And I just really, really love this uh, book that has all types of readings for the Advent. And also, um, they used to have, they have a book for the Advent, but This one is on Easter and, you know, kind of goes through six different sections like the crucifixion, the resurrection, the new life, but it's just a great kind of a reading of Lent and just a focus on spiritual things throughout the season. The other thing I want to talk about is a book for children. So it's a Lent book. It's a book on this season of Lent, and it's called Make Room, A Child's Guide to Lent and Easter. And this book, I just, I love 
to see all of the different activities and things that kind of they take and kind of focus on. It's just a great, um, you know, kind of po it's poetic, it's theological, it's, you know, practical, and it's a bit kind of like um, almost like a storytelling type read aloud. And it's just a great book to teach children, you know, the purpose of Lent and how to live it. And, you know, it, it takes you from, um, you from Ash Wednesday all the way Last Supper through the Resurrection, things like that. So it's a great, great book. So those are the few things that I recommend for Lent. They are my favorites. I love to do the readings. And like I said, the app is a 365 day out of the year app that I love. And I just wanted to share that with you and welcome you back to season four and Friday favorites. I'll be doing Friday favorites with a guest or by myself. And uh, that will happen once or twice a month. And then we'll have one guest a month. We have cut down quite a bit just as my business has um, moved on to, an, to the next level and I'm busier um, or just more full is what I like to say. My business is full and I love it and just don't have as much uh, bandwidth to do a show every week. But I know that you, my favorite listeners, will be in tune for the next show that will come up soon. So I've got to run because I'm doing some two interviews today with two different guests, one Friday Favorites guest and one regular guest of an amazing woman. So please stay tuned. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss an episode. And also, I really hope that this Lent season is a good one for you. And even if you don't uh, observe Lent, it's a good time to just reflect on things and maybe do some reading of, of you know, poems that you love. I just love that um, to, for us to take the time to just be at peace and be reflective and think about the things. I also want to mention that you can support Rising Stories podcast by using the links provided in the show notes for these books. So if you're going to buy some of these books, I would love for you to use the links provided in the show notes or you can go to our store at amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash Kareem Sandifer and there you'll find things of favorite things of mine and my past guests and I would love for you to shop there all the proceeds help to keep rising stories on the air and bring you stories from women and feature them and empower them as they share their stories again thanks so much for listening and keep rising in your story <laughs>